Hey guys and girls and welcome back to the number one channel on real estate. Now before we get started make sure to hit that like button and if you enjoy the video make sure you subscribe to be part of the Daily Hit family. Now let's get back to the video. It's hard to remember everything you need to know when buying a house. You're probably feeling a lot of pressure during the home buying process. There's a lot to remember and a lot at stake. But relax, we've got your back. Here's three tips to help you stay on track to make the process as smooth as possible. When you're looking for a new house, there are numerous variables to consider while out on the open house circuit or surfing real estate online. You should begin by creating a list of items that you require and that you desire in your house. Everyone has a different list. Families with small children, for example, might be searching for a first house they can expand into while empty nesters might desire a smaller place that requires a bit less upkeep. The coronavirus has also altered buyer preferences which has resulted in growing demand for houses with extra space both inside and outside. The sad fact is, you're probably just not going to get everything on your list. To discover a home that meets your requirements and is within your budget, you'll have to make some trade-offs. It's become a process of elimination rather than selection. When you start going into homes, you'll discover what your priorities are, says Andy DeFelice, an associate broker with Exclusive Buyers Realty in Savannah, Georgia and a past president of the National Association of Exclusive Buyer Agents. Aside from that, knowing what to search for is crucial to getting the most out of your search. Here are some tips to bear in mind while you're looking for a house. Number one, deal breakers to look out for when buying a home. It's more than you can afford. This is the most significant consideration when it comes to purchasing a home. There's no need to waste time looking at houses that you can't afford. You may use bank rates calculator to determine how much house you can afford and estimate the mortgage amount that works within your budget. Consider any additional expenditures, such as the taxes, insurance, and maintenance costs. The more expensive the home you wish to buy, the greater your monthly mortgage payment will end up being. Next, poor location. There's a reason why realtors joke about the importance of location, location, and location within real estate. No amount of remodeling can improve the location of your home. Even if the property has everything else you're searching for, a too long commute or underperforming schools for your children might leave you with buyer's remorse. Pay attention to both the neighborhood and your potential neighbors while you make a decision about where you want to live. DeFelice says, I propose conducting a drive-by of the area several times throughout the day to get a sense of what it's like. Is there anything going on in that area that would make you unhappy to walk out your door every day? Next, issues with the home inspection. If there are any issues with the house's structure or systems, it'll be discovered during a home inspection. If the inspection uncovers serious problems that might require expensive repairs, you can request that the seller repair them or negotiate a lower price to account for the problems. If the sellers aren't interested in either option, you have the choice of walking away as long as you have a home inspection contingency in your contract. Number 2. How to create a realistic wish list for your home. Other features, while certain to be non-negotiable on the house you want to purchase, might be more nice-to-haves. At the very least, here's what you should consider for your wish list. The size of the house and yard. How many bedrooms and bathrooms do you want? And the sizes you prefer. The kitchen features, such as an island or a built-in eating area. Neighborhood safety. Quality of local public schools. Proximity to shopping, grocery stores, restaurants, bars, and cultural attractions the walkability, and the access to public transit. You'll also want to trim your list down to characteristics that are truly present within the houses within your price range, and which are useful, add value, or otherwise enhance your everyday life. There may be other elements that are more essential to you based on your lifestyle, such as a pool or access to a dog park. Include it on your wish list if it's a must-have for you. Consider your present and future preferences as well. If you have kids, for example, the quality of the local public schools may be more important to you. If you live in a multi-generational home with a limited number of automobiles, public transit may be a make or break option. However, keep in mind that you should consider what you truly need versus what you just want. While you may want a kitchen and bathrooms that are recently remodeled, that isn't always essential. A great room for entertaining or a waterfall shower might be nice to have, but they're not really must-haves. The most frequent home buying blunders are making assumptions about amenities as well as searching for characteristics that just don't necessarily suit your lifestyle. Number three, remember that no house is perfect. Only if we could turn every single item on our wish list and our loftiest home designs into reality. 
Since home hunting is mostly based on financial criteria and what's available on the market, it's essential to remember that the ideal home just does not exist unless you build it. Here's a house shopping tip to keep in mind while you're looking at listings online and seeing properties in person. Keep in mind that you can repaint, replace fixtures, and add your own style, but you can't change the property's position. Make an informed decision. In conclusion, real estate is a complex and competitive market with a lot of moving parts. When you're looking to buy your first home, it's hard to know what type of property might work best for you. What do you think are some key things that should be considered when purchasing real estate? Take these three factors into consideration before making the decision on whether or not this opportunity is right for you.